Indian politics has a clear gender imbalance. That's why we need the Women's Reservation Bill. Equal representation of women in legislation can significantly improve the quality of decision-making and empower both women and the nation. Politics has long been a male bastion in which women have yet to gain an equal footing. Even when women leaders overcome significant obstacles to enter electoral politics, they are continuously discouraged by misogynistic attitudes and character assassination. Women are routinely demotivated by being told that they do not belong here, and are systematically kept out of politics and decision-making. For instance, just last month, Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, leader Chandrakant Patil told Nationalist Congress Party MP Supriya Shule to go home and cook, instead of being in politics, highlighting the existence of a structured system of oppressive gender hierarchy in politics and a patriarchal attitude that politics is a profession for men. Empirical studies confirm women's skewed gender representation in politics and legislation. According to an inter-parliamentary union study, India ranks 149th out of 193 countries in terms of female representation in the lower or single house of parliament. It is inexcusable that in a country where women account for half of the population, they have an abysmally low 14% representation in the Lok Sabha and 11% in the Rajya Sabha. Is this what we mean when we say India is a representative democracy? Why are their voices still marginalized, even though they constitute a sizable proportion of the population? It is high time that we stop representing women and speaking on their behalf and give them every opportunity to speak for and represent themselves. Because of the prevalence of patriarchal tendencies and rampant sexism in political parties and institutions, an institutional process for ensuring the representation of women in legislation is critical. The lack of women's active participation in politics not only undermines the spirit and idea of a representative democracy, but also denies women equal status and opportunity, as guaranteed by our constitution. To bridge this gap, we should do away with women's ornamental presence in politics and implement the pending action, the Constitution 108th Amendment Bill, Women's Reservation Bill, to level the playing field for women entering politics. We should fulfill our obligation to ensure equality as guaranteed by Article 14 of the Constitution, which establishes the right to equality as a fundamental right. Equal representation of women in legislation can significantly improve the quality of decision-making and empower both women and the nation. We cannot achieve social development with equity and justice without equal representation of women in Parliament, which is why the Women's Reservation Bill is the need of the hour. It is high time we stop the mere tokenism extended in the name of politics of representation and inclusion and ensure the actual and equal representation of women. Keep watching NNP News. You are watching National News Portal, NNP. NNP. News around the clock. Please like and subscribe to the channel.